medical innovation giving a Michigan man a second chance at sight and us some insight into, again, an incredible, incredible invention, a bionic eye, much like this one, being fitted to one of the first patients ever to receive the surgery. The eye uses a tiny camera and transmitter housed in a pair of glasses to transmit impulses to the retina's remaining healthy cells, allowing patients with some degenerative eye diseases a glimpse of objects and faces they may have not seen in years. Joining us now, the doctor who performed the surgery, Dr. Theron J. Asendra from the University of Michigan Kellogg Eye Center. This is just incredible, doctor. Can you, can you walk us through this bit by bit? We're talking about an artificial retina. What is that artificial retina made of? So it's really um, a, a, a array, electrodes placed on the surface of the retina, and there's a cable that uh, basically transmits uh, information that is seen on a camera onto the array, and the electrodes basically electrically uh, uh, affect the nerves that transmit the signal to the brain. It sounds incredible. How was it to do the surgery with, with, that, with that gear? It, yeah, you know, uh, the surgery is long. It's a four-hour operation. And, uh, you know, every step has to be very carefully done. Uh, measurements have to be made, and we spend a long time doing the measurements uh, so that the array or the electrodes fall exactly on the perfect position uh, on the retina. Well, we certainly have a lot of respect for your talents uh, on that end because the man that we're talking about now can see some of the images that we mentioned that he hasn't been able to see. But it's important that he has to wear that set of eyeglasses as well, doctor. Can you explain why? Right. So the, the camera is actually mounted on the glasses. And uh, when, you know, the camera sort of allows him to see the outside world and it transmits wirelessly to this chip that lies on the retina. Who can benefit? And, and, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. But I'm just curious. I'm sure our viewers now are thinking, okay, how does this, how does this work? And I know a lot of people that have bad eyesight, for example. Uh, this is specifically right. for degenerative disease. Can you tell us who would be able to benefit from this sort of technology? That's right. So uh, the FDA has um, given, uh, allowed us to implant it on patients who have retinitis pigmentosa. And retinitis pigmentosa is an uh, inherited retinal disease. Uh, where patients lose vision over time. And, you know, in childhood they may have, uh, you know, relatively good vision and later on in life they lose vision completely in some cases. In other cases, you know, it's, it's very variable. So for patients who have no vision essentially, so bare light perception vision or no light perception vision in both eyes and who have retinitis pigmentosa uh, can have this uh, implanted. It's just fast. This must have been really exciting for you. Yeah, it was. It was an exciting uh, procedure to perform. It was exciting for us, and we're not even in your field, so we thought we thought it was really something to talk about. So, thank you, doctor. It's great. To